Hey guys, for this portion of the uh, of the project, there's probably going to be a bunch of short videos as opposed to longer ones until we start getting into the meat of things. But what you're looking at here is the cover. And you'll see I've removed all the veneer. It came right off like snakeskin. It's completely bare. And of course there's a black trim here that has to get uh, taken care of. But this entire thing is now ready to be veneered. And here's all the donor pieces. This is everything that came off. You can see how easily this thing came off. Came off in one piece. So this is going to be really simple. And I've got all these extra pieces which I'm going to hold on to because you never know if I can use them in another project. But one thing that I realized after seeing an email from our friend Don over at Restore World Radios is that this is maple. I mean, I'm sorry, this is walnut, not maple. And if you look at the grain, kind of makes sense to me at least. So what I've done is I've ordered um, a, a sheet or a roll actually of walnut veneer from a company called Rockler and I got that information from Steve over at He's the Master. He turned me on to that place and I looked at it and they have a roll of two-ply walnut which I've ordered and which we're going to use to cover this, uh, this, this unit. So hats off to Steve as well. And then the last thing is the uh, dial. So I got an email from our good friend uh, John from Arkansas, Joe Renan, who reminded me that there is a company called dialcover.com and I checked them out and they have one of these. So I don't have to put this dingy thing back in. And then the last piece of the update is the speaker. Don over at Restore Radios contacted me and said that you know he was, he's been watching the uh, restoration process and he wants to contribute as well to Larry's, uh, Larry's project for his family. So um, Don and I worked it out and I've just shipped out the speaker to him. He's going to attempt to recone it for me. I did look at the, uh, the voice coil in the center and it, it does appear to be damaged. Um, so if anybody could fix it, it's Don. So that's been uh, sent out to him. So Larry, uh, Don is going to help us out as well and I'll put a video of him fixing your speaker included in one of my future videos. So that's where we are. Now the question is how are we going to glue the new veneer down? So I've been doing some research. I've not done any kind of large scale veneer replacement. And I found three different ways to do it. So one is contact cement, which I, from what I assume, can be really, really difficult. Um, you have to use the gel type because if you don't, if you use liquid, it runs and you get one shot to place it down. You could also use um, contact cement or glue and a vacuum sealer and it compresses the piece down so you get real, rid of the bubbles and the air and all that stuff. Or you could use a method, which is the one I'm going to use, which is good old fashioned wood glue. Let it dry. Put the veneer on top, make sure it's positioned perfectly. Put a piece of uh, brown uh, craft paper on top and use an iron. Now I've seen people on, some of you on YouTube, use that method for repairs. And it works. Heat works great. Now we've got a lot of straight pieces here, so I'm not too worried about it. So that's how we're going to do it. So we're going to use the old iron method. And we'll see how it works. All right? So that's going to be uh, the, the way that we do this. Now, some of you may have opinions about that, and I completely respect that, but that's the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to use the uh, good old-fashioned yellow glue and a hot iron and get this thing down where it needs to go. I also have a trimmer, which I'm going to use to trim the edges. So I'm going to leave about an eighth inch overlap on all sides when I do this. And I'm going to trim it back and then sand it, and it should be good. And then once we get the cover done, then we're going to focus on the case. And we're going to do the case too. What the hell? I've got a piece that's coming. It's 96 by 24. So I'll have enough walnut to do the entire thing and do this. So that's where we are. We're not going to make much more progress until the weekend. The uh, veneer is not supposed to be here till Friday. And uh, just waiting for a few other things here. So that's our update for today. So uh, a shout out to Don over at Restore Our Radios. A shout out to Steve at He's the Master, and a shout out to John from Arkansas, Joe or none. By the way, if you're wondering where John's videos are, go over to Odyssey, O-D-Y-S-E-E, -E, and look for Joe or none, and you'll find John's videos over there. Okay?
Everybody have a great night.